here it is, my all-time favorite, at least my current favorite app. It's called Pick Play Post, and it's a video app. So the first thing you do with Pick Play Post is select how you want your video to come up. I've selected here a square video. So that takes your you know videos that you're filming on your iPhone and it makes them square for Instagram. Once you've selected the frame, then you go in your photo roll, your camera roll, and you simply select the video that you would like to choose to be in that square frame. Now that I've selected the video, uh, if it's longer than 15 seconds, you'll see that you have these little markers that allow you to drag where you'd like the video to start and where you'd like it to end. So here I'm just kind of dragging it to where I would want it to start. And of course I need it to be um, I usually go a little longer than 15 seconds just so it doesn't cut off early. And I've selected the video. Now this little slider is cool because it allows me to zoom in on the video. I can flip the video. I can adjust the orientation, which allows you to kind of like, you know, put exactly what you want to be in the center of the frame as the center of the attention. Um, I really like that feature. It does take some playing with it. It's fun and you can get caught up spending hours on it which is why I recommend once you learn how to do this, you can outsource a lot of it. You can also put a frame around your photo. So, you know, I've noticed a lot of pages where the page just has a certain look and feel and they'll use the same color as their border around all their photos and videos. That, I think that's really nice. Um, you can see on mine, I often use uh, uh, music. So that's what we're doing here. So I've selected the settings and I've gone in. And if I'm going to add music, I can actually take it right from my the music I have on my iPhone, uh, and I can pick a song. For me, the most difficult thing is finding a song that has clean lyrics. Don't judge. I just like crazy music when I work out with explicit lyrics. But So you can select your song, um, and I'm just going to tell you straight up that it's hard to, I don't know if you know the music companies have got into licensing or something, but it seems that suddenly now I have very few songs that it actually allows me to import. So I'm going to share with you a little trick in a second. So I pick my song. It allows me to pick what part of the song I want to use. And then I have to pull down the volume a little bit because I found if I use full volume, people are like, why are your videos so loud? And they get really mad. So I use it about 50% volume. And then you click rendering and it will show you an example of what your video looks like with the music applied. Now, as you can see, I've tilted it slightly and changed the orientation, but it's allowing me to hear the music and kind of make sure the music lines up with the video. Next, I want to show you how you can select another frame. So here I'm going to select the collage that allows me to post two different videos at once, which, by the way, I don't recommend. Um, and I don't recommend it because our brains can only process one thing at a time. And so when we're giving people two videos to look at at the same time, I, I personally don't think that they should be playing at the same time. Um, it's just hard for the brain. So, but I'm still going to show you how to do that because there might be an instance where you can make that work. Um, I also will show you how you can load up two videos and let one play for the first uh, 10 minutes and the next one play for the next five minutes. So um, uh, here, what I'm going to do is select an additional video. It renders. And as you can see, I've got two videos playing now at once, but is, you know, now you're looking at it, you can see it's kind of difficult to watch both at the same time. Um, but my good friend, Melissa made, that's a great account to watch. She shows two videos at once, one where she's speaking, just speaking and the other one where she's actually demonstrating the movement. So now let's take a look at how you can add even more than uh, two videos. You can add three or four or five. I think five is probably the most. So here I'm going to pick, um, an option that allows me to, to show three videos at once. And I want to show you how to do this. Um, and it's really cool because it allows you to slide them around. You see those little dots? Those enable me to kind of decide, you know, which video needs more space, which one needs um, more of a horizontal feel, and which ones work square. And um, I just think that's really cool because sometimes you film these videos and you're like, oh, man, I cut off all the best action. So once you do that, then you can adjust the borders accordingly. And of course, you have to render the video again. I'm going to size these. And then I'm going to go back into settings. And what I'm going to do is 
uh, pull down the sound in each one of these videos so that the sounds aren't necessarily competing with the music that I've laid down in the background. Um, you know, you, you always have a chance to listen to them before you accept the video, but I'm going to keep those all at 50%. And then what I've done is set them up so while this is rendering, I can explain it to you, so that the videos will play in a sequential order. Uh, that means that they're not all playing at once. I'll have one play, and then the second one play, and then the third one play. Again, this app is just amazing how quick you can put these videos together. It would take far longer using um, a desktop app. So now you can see the bottom video is playing first. That allows your brain to just focus on one thing at a time. Go, girl, go, go, go. And then that's going to play. And again, normally you'd have to make sure all of these can play within a 15-second time range. So in the sample that I'm showing you, I'm showing you 15 seconds of each one. But when you do this yourself, you would have to split those 15 seconds amongst those three video reels. I'm sure that makes sense to you. Uh, but again, I you know rarely find an instance where I want to do this. I think some accounts do a great job of it. Just remember human behavior. What do you like to see? What don't you like to see? What's frustrating to you? What videos do, are you forced to watch several times because you didn't catch it the first time? So now I'm showing you how you can shorten clips so that the um, you know the video clips that I did uh, accept are shorter, and that will allow for all of the footage to um, be seen in a very short period of time, i.e. 15 seconds. Now I'm going to go back and select a new layout where I'm going to do two um, boxes. As, as you can see in the top box, I've placed a video. And in the bottom box, I'm actually going to place a graphic. And this is the magic. This is where everyone's been saying, how do you post those videos with the big, bold words at the bottom? Now I open up a second app. It's called Over. It's one of my favorite font apps, but you can use any app that allows you to create fonts. And in Over, you first select a background. I just pick a plain black text or background, and then I select the title of what I want my video to say. Um, so as you can see, here's some examples where I put like hit workout or ab workout or whatever, got fit. And then once I've selected the text, which is kind of cool with this app. There's so many different variations for fonts and font color. And with your font and font color, you can help to brand your page. I'm having a tough time typing apparently and recording at the same time. Um, but what you're gonna see I do here is now I can, I can kind of move this around and uh, this app allows you to make things, just by using my fingers, I can spread the words wider or make them smaller. I try to center them up in the middle of my phone so that um, now I've got like a bunch of different fonts that I can select anytime I'm doing this on one of my videos. And then I um, can also do some cool things with that font. I can make it more narrow. I can give it different colors. Um, but again, the key is, you know, branding your page. And you brand your page by um, being consistent. So people kind of like come to recognize certain fonts and certain colors. They just know it's your video. Okay, now that I've created the font, then all I have to do is save it to my camera roll. It says I have done so successfully. Then I go back to pick play post. I click on that bottom box and I select the graphic. Now this isn't a video, this is a graphic. And as you can see, it allows me to slide to the word that I want or the phrase. And then I can make this box just a little bit bigger. And sometimes I'll make the box really big, especially if the video that I've use in the top box if I need more of a um, horizontal view, not just square, well then I will make that even um, even bigger. Now as you can see, what happened here was that I, I made the font too big so it didn't fit really well. So I just went back into the app over and I'm just going to show you while we're here. Let's just play with another font. See, look at all these cool fonts. And then I can make the font just a little bit smaller. And again, I save that to my camera roll and we'll test it again. So, you know, in the beginning, th this is the kind of stuff that can take some time. And, you know, I've, I've had a lot of fun figuring this out for people and now being able to share it with you. But, you know, ultimately, these are the kind of things that, like, if this is, you're just like, oh, this is a pain in the butt. I, this is just too techy and outsource it. But I want you to know how you can do it very, very quickly from your phone. You can literally post up a 15-second video in under four or five minutes. 
Um, and I'm all for outsourcing. Here we go. Now I've made this a little bit bigger. Isn't that cool? I'm all for, for outsourcing, but if it's going to take you at least five minutes to post it on the Elance or someplace else, and it only takes you five minutes to create it, well, then you should do that yourself. But if you're not great at these kinds of things and this ends up taking you 30 minutes, well, for by all means, please outsource. So now what it's doing is it's rendering it so that I can take a look at it before I post it up and I can make sure, okay, I like the way the video's been centered. You can see the activity. This is kind of a collage I did. And, um, the, you know, like the music is playing right. You want to make sure of that before you save it to your camera roll. And then once you've saved it to your camera roll, which is kind of cool, you just watch this. We'll just click here. Now the only thing that's left to do is save this to my camera roll. So you click on sharing, optimize the quality. You always want it to be, you know, render it as large as your phone can handle because you get a better quality video. I'm sure everyone's seen like really grainy videos posted and they just, you know, it sucks. You definitely want high optimization so that you get a bigger file that'll save to your camera roll. And once it's there, all you do is go into Instagram and just as usual, you tap your camera roll and what you've just created from pick play post will be there in your camera roll perfectly square perfectly labeled whatever it is you want to do to create the perfect image and brand for your instagram page kind of fun huh